Hi, I'm Mr. Moran and I teach engineering and design technology here at Forest Hall School. For today's tester, we're going to be hearing from some students and what they like most about the subjects, and then a demonstration of how to construct Da Vinci's bridge. Okay, welcome. Uh, thanks, James, for joining us today. Uh, we're just going to make a little video here with Miss Griffiths just to show some of the year sixes what we get up to here in Forest Hall on a regular basis. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? And you can place the camera there, don't worry about it. Um, so, first thing I'm going to ask you is why do you take DT? So, I took DT because I have my business exterior to school, so outside of school, and I make leather wallets and sell them. So, I wanted to improve my pattern making ability so I could uh, improve the quality of my wallets and um, products. Very good. Very good. something you started during lockdown wasn't it so you actually you studied engineering before you went that that so do you think that that set you up with the practical skills um, to start that business or did it inspire you um, it definitely helped me with my patterns so uh, it improved my the quality of my work to the point where I thought I was good enough to start my own business and, uh, so. brilliant brilliant and what what's the what's one of the things you like the most about TT um, I like the designing, the CAD, the, and the use of the laser cutter and the practical, that's why I took DT. Yeah, 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 I think everyone enjoys that practical side of it. Um, and so James took uh, the, uh, engineering last year and he liked it so much that he's actually gone back and he's done a GCSE in design technology this year. So James, and um, what have we learned about so far this year, theory-wise? So, so far we've learned about sustainability and responsible manufacturing and design. Uh, talk, going back to last year again in engineering, okay, do you want to show Miss uh, what you've made and how you've made it? Do you want to talk a little bit about your, about your project? Uh, so, last year for my synoptic project, what I had to learn amazing, the brief was of a footbridge uh, for someone, and I made a sort of cable tie suspend, no, oh. Yeah, that's alright, that's alright. So it's a pedestrianised footbridge, isn't it, okay? Do you want to spin it around and show Miss, okay? And then just explain it. So it's basically, it's a truss bridge, isn't it? It's like, it's a mixture between a suspension bridge and a truss bridge. But you can see that there's, it's an iconic design that James has personalised it, okay, for his own, his own use. Right, thank you, James. So, Marco, you're taking engineering this year, okay? Yeah. Um, what do you find good about it so far? I know we've only been doing it a few weeks, but why do you enjoy it, or do you enjoy it? Yeah, I'm enjoying engineering very much because I've been wanting to learn how everything around me is made and how it works. Right now, I'm looking for DXF files uh, in the shape of an automotive train, and we're going to laser cut them and assemble them together. I chose a train because once we put it together, I want to learn how the mechanisms work. And you probably best learn how to do that when you put it together, isn't it? Yeah. Together, so Oscar, you did engineering last year, okay, and you have your bridge there that you made in front of you. Um, do you want to tell me what your favourite part of engineering was last year? Um, my favourite part of engineering was the designing on 2D design of the bridge, because we put so much hard work into it, and just to see it all pay off was great. Was great so you were happy, you're happy with your, your result from last year? My result? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Good, 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 good. It was an abrupt start or end to last year, so um, there was only a few of them that got to be made, but Oscar, you did a really good job. And can you tell me how you made that then? Once you did 2D design, what did we use to actually cut it out? Well, we used, I used um, plywood and I used um, the laser cutter in the, in the lab. So it was really, really accurate. And you can say, do you want to just show it up in front of the camera there so that your sixes can have a look of what we kind of did? Good, very good. And um, what are you looking forward to the most? I think like actually like making something. So is it fun to learn kind of how everything is built and how everything is made? Yeah. And we're learning a lot about sustainability as well, aren't we? Can you um, um, tell me why you like learning about sustainability? What kind of differences are we making in the school? Oh, like um, there's like. I like learning about how there's like different materials that are better like for the environment so it's not like killing off like animals. Brilliant. Alright, that's fine Elemin. That's
going to show you a structure that doesn't need any glue or any joints. And what it does is it evenly distributes out all the weight, okay? So it holds quite a lot of weight without any joints. So as soon as you stick it, it can just take it out. So this is the bridge to demonstrate that it can hold this. Do you want to give it a little push just to see it there on the flex? Very good guys, well done. Okay, and uh, that's an iconic design okay, by Leonardo da Vinci and it's a bridge that can be made without any joints or glue. Thanks very much guys, thank you. Today how we're going to build da Vinci's bridge just from card, okay? So I've asked the year sixes at home to be collecting some cereal boxes and what they're going to do is they're going to cut it into thin strips glue those thin strips together to make a kind of a material similar to the sticks you use for a Da Vinci bridge, okay? okay? So, what I want you to do is, I want you to take the pieces of card there in front of you and I want you to cut them into thin strips. Now, you both know what to do to get even strips, you have to measure it, right? So we're going to go at one centimeter or ten millimeter strips. So if you could mark ten millimeters on one side and the other side and then draw parallel lines Okay. So mark 10 millimeters all the way down. Just take one of them first, Lewis. Take one of them off the pile, maybe. Brilliant, okay. So remember to measure it top and bottom to ensure the lines are straight. So can I ask you what you guys are doing now? You've cut up all those strips, okay? So what are you going to do now, uh, Lewis? We're going to be sticking them together to make them thicker and sturdier. Very good, okay? So, Freddie, you're going to be stacking those uh, pieces of cardboard, those strips of cardboard, okay, to make nice rigid sticks, similar to the wooden ones beside you that the guys just used in Da Vinci Bridge. Now, what, what do we call this process, Freddie? We call it laminating. Laminating. And where else would you see that process? find it in plywood. Yeah, so plywood they do similar, don't they? They stack yeah. veneers on top of each other and glue them together to give you a rigid board. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay, thanks guys. Okay guys, you can uh, you can stay if you're not out. Okay. Yeah. Very good. You want to tighten up a little bit? Just need to slide it there. 